Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my backpack. I'm filming and uploading this video a little late. I'm actually going back to school on September 4th. And that's because I DIY some of my school supplies and it just took a while to do. But yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. So my backpack is from, well, it's just a Jansport backpack and I actually painted it. And it actually used to be zebra print right here, but I just painted it over with blue. And I was actually just gonna leave it blue, but then I decided to also add pink and yellow because I thought those colors would be cute on the backpack. Also, I know my voice sounds like I'm sick, and it's because I'm sick, so sorry about that, but um, try to ignore it. It's a cool backpack. I didn't want to get a new backpack because I saw this one. I thought um, I could DIY it because I was going to get a brand new backpack, but then I decided it would be cool to like paint it and stuff. So in this first pocket, this pink one, I have my mini brush um, because mini deodorant because sometimes I forget to put it on and I just have my tangled up earbuds that are very curly and I have a little dongle on it because um, this is like the old one and it's good for like my computer because it doesn't have this jacket it needs you know this thing not this sorry I don't know what I'm saying and then I have, this is very necessary, a lint roller. <laughs> I have this just for like my leggings because I literally live in leggings in the winter time. I have these, this in case my leggings have lint on them. Nice, nice. I bet everyone has that in their backpack. And then I also have this little body spray just in case I smell bad. Or I forgot to per, per or I forget to per or I forget to put perfume on that day. Have this. So in my next pocket, which is this yellow pocket, um, I have this little pouch. It's a little Ipsy pouch, and inside I have some hair ties. Well, I'm just, I hope I wasn't crouching down the entire time. Um, I have hair ties, scrunchie, um, I have a lot of hair ties actually. And then in here is a little Altoids peppermint tin, but it actually has little oil sheets in it. Actually, these aren't even oil sheets, they're actually toilet paper like seat covers, but that's like the material oil sheets are made out of, so instead of spending money, you could just use toilet paper seats for free and cut them up and make them into little sheets. So I have that, and then I also have bobby pins in here as well. And then I have tissues, um, and then I also have index cards for um, flashcards, so that's what they're called. And then inside this pocket, there's like a little pockets attached, and I just have hand sanitizer in one of those little pockets, and then also I have a mini Nail pile. And then in this top mini pocket, I have gum and chapstick. And these are like the things I use most out of my backpack. I also put my phone in there. And then on the side, uh, and then in the side pocket, I just have my water bottle because you gotta stay hydrated. Okay, my backpack has two pockets. So here is the first pocket, and in the first one, I just have my summer reading book and my summer reading notes um, that I still haven't finished yet, but. We will finish that soon. Um, and then in the bigger pocket, I have my like, notebooks and folders and stuff. So this year I decided to DIY my school supplies and I failed on some parts, but I'll just show you what turned out good. So I decided to paint my notebooks this year so I could just get really cheap notebooks and then paint them whatever color I wanted so it also matched my folders. Um, so I have this pastel red. Pastel red like isn't a color, but I made it a color. So this is my pastel red notebook. And then I painted the same color paint I used for that on a little label. And I have my, and I have all white folders. 
and this is just my Algebra 2 folder and notebook. So the color corresponds with the label. And each year I use the same color for each subject. So red is always goes with math. I don't know why, but I always just like link red with math. Okay, and this is kind of where I failed. So I have my yellow notebook and originally I thought this was history, but usually um, history is purple. And I don't really know why I thought it was yellow because Spanish is yellow. Okay, so I realized I sound really weird and like a crazy person. Um, but basically, I like I said, I have colors for each of my subjects and Spanish every year I either make yellow or pink and history purple or yellow. So it just really depends on whether I get a yellow folder, a pink folder, a purple folder, and then I'll just like give it to uh, Spanish or history. So that's kind of what I was trying to explain, but I kind of just ended up sounding really weird. And also don't mind my voice, I'm sick. Because I have an extra notebook and folder for Spanish, but I kind of forgot about it. So I'm gonna have to make that. So that's kind of where I failed. I mean, there's more fail coming up, so. I'll just show you that. So science is always green, and I was gonna make a mint green a pretty notebook, but I had a red notebook, and I tried doing the green over it, but it, you could still see the red through it, and then I accidentally, not accidentally, I mean, I purposely wrote down in Sharpie the name of the class I'm taking, um, but I didn't wanna do that. I realized after it was a mistake. So I think I'm just going to print out a green piece of paper and then glue it on here so it's not see-through. I don't know, I kind of failed with my aesthetic this year. But then I have my pretty folder, which didn't fail me, AP in my rental. And that's actually my first AP class ever, so wish me luck in my first AP class. I think it's mainly a senior class, so that's going to be fun. I hope I'm not the only junior, but I feel like I'm going to be. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I'm going to junior year. I'm 16 years old. I'm going to be an upperclassman. Fun. Okay, now also my next fail. Same thing, red notebook, painted blue over it. You can still see the red through it. I mean, it's more visible in person than on camera. Um, so unfortunate, but my folder, of course, again, didn't fail me. And also, English is always blue. But we're gonna move on to my planner. And I am an avid planner user. I use my planner the entire year. If I don't put my homework in my planner, I don't remember it. Um, I put everything in my planner. Not everything, but all my homework in my planner. And like school reminders. Every year I get my planner from like TJ Maxx because they have really cheap planners and they're usually really cute. Um, so I think this one that I got was $4 or $5. Originally, this planner was pink, blue, and kind of purple, like granite with like fool's gold kind of texture on it. And I just wasn't feeling that. It looked really fake and kind of weird. You could see a little bit of it like here, that texture kind of like glitter. I don't know, like you could see the granite kind of. I don't know, I just didn't really like it. So I decided to make my own little cover, which I'm literally obsessed with. So so first of all, it has this like separate cover, which says 2019, 2020. And then it looks like this. It's so cute, I'm literally obsessed. So basically all I did was I looked up like Visco backgrounds on, on, on Google and I printed this out and then Mod Podge it so it's like shiny and like protected. So I took the same exact color and I printed out a paper that was that color and I put it on the back. So it looks like this, just so it like corresponded. And I don't know, it's really cute and I really like it. It's just like really cute sayings and like every single one I really like, so yeah. And of course you always need a pencil case, so this is mine, and I know what you're thinking. Your pencil case is huge, but there's a reason for this. I usually have a lot of stuff in here. I have my ginormous calculator. I keep it in my pencil case. It's a graphing calculator, so it's huge. And then I also keep a lot of stuff that normal people don't keep in their pencil case. Like, I literally have mini scissors from like, yeah, like second grade. I'm the person you go to for like everything. Like my friends will usually always ask me for like hand sanitizer, like, 
cream, like hand cream. Oh, that's something I forgot to put in my backpack, hand cream. Then I also have white out, because I'm that extra. I don't know, I uh, post-its, like. And then I just have fun pens. Like, I got some gel pens from the dollar store. They're probably gonna run out in like two days, but it's fine. Pencils, and I'm really excited about these pencils, because y'all know that Ticonderoga pencils, if you found these on the ground, Maybe it's just me, but I always picked up Ticonderoga pencils on the ground because these are the expensive pencils. And my sister got them this year for me and my brother for school. And I was like, oh, I'm living the rich life. Like, <laughs> I have the Ticonderoga pencils. Then I also have some janky pencils for anyone who wants to borrow my pencils. And then I also have mechanical pencils and pens and other stuff but yeah and that's the story of why I have a huge pencil case <laughs> so the last thing I have in my backpack is my Chromebook and my school gives out Chromebooks for high school because we do a lot of like online assignments and they can't expect everyone to have a laptop at home to bring to school so they give us Chromebooks and a lot of people at my school actually use their own laptops and then bring them to school I do have like my MacBook which I edit on and stuff but it's like huge and chunky and it's old, so I don't want to bring that to school. And plus I like to separate home from school. So I just have my Chromebook, because it's small and easy. I just keep it in my little computer pocket in my backpack. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Sunshine